What's up, y'all? It's your boy, JTMM, a.k.a. Just 10 More Minutes, a.k.a. The Freaking 10. Back again with more Nightwish this week. And I had to hear it. After listening to Adima Roo, um, on what y'all have informed me on it is from a, uh, a uh, cruise performance that they did. I had to listen to the studio version. And thank you, Martine, for providing the link. <clears throat> because that song... Oh my God, just thinking about it gets me emotional. My God, that was good. So now I want to hear it in its original form, um, it, which I suspect will be obviously a little harder, um, but I, I'm i expecting it to be just as good. So with that being said, hey, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. This is one of those that no matter what format it's sung in, whether it's acoustic or the original, it's just, it's a damn good song. It, it, the melody is great. You know, take the lyrics out for a second. If you just listen to like the melody, the, the tempo um, uh, that it's playing to, it's catchy. It, and I don't mean this as any disrespect, but this is one of those songs that if you were to take the lyrics out and put it at the end of really any movie, this is like the one where the credits are scrolling. And I like, again, not a disrespect towards them, but it's got that type of feel to it where you could just see the the, the credits scrolling and this playing without the lyrics with the lyrics, different, different animal. But man, this is a good song. It, this is up there. It, this is just amazing. Such an 80s feel to this. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, that guitar with it. Like, I, I feel myself getting emotional, but it's... It, wow. I mean, a line gets me every single time. This is one that just... It, it's got that 80s feel, as y'all said in the comments. It, but this just has... This is different. And I, I, I know I say that, it, uh, you know... It hits different a lot, but there's songs that hit you in different ways, right? Whether it's emotionally or, or how they hit you emotionally, I should say, you know, whether it, it sparks a memory, whether it sparks, um, you know, just a, a raw emotion from something they say. And this just, I can't hit what it is. I don't know if it's just a, with the love for music, you appreciate the beauty of a song and not just the words, I guess, is probably the easiest way. Y'all get it. I mean, as Nightwish fans, there's just certain songs that that when they're played, you just know they're good. And why this one is not on any other set recently <clears throat> that that. I've watched, man, that's almost a travesty. Of course, you could probably say that about, you know, all of the songs that they have. I, I haven't heard one that I just went, eh, don't like it. Wow. I, the melody, all of it. Let's just keep going. This, this is just a damn good song. Love those harmonies. That's a really nice mix. You know, it, it, there's something to be said, and I, I've said this before on other videos, um, but th this was another moment with her sustaining note at the end with her vocals. She could have put some ridiculous run in there. And people probably would have not given two thoughts about it. But again, what I love about Floor's vocals is she never tries to just go in and show off. Like, she hits the notes as they should be hit within a song. She doesn't add these stupid runs that these people do today just to show off a vocal. It, it, it's what I love about her and Toddy, and even when you get into, you know, uh, Spirit Box and, and these other singers that have the vocal range, that could nail any run that you put in front of them, they don't. And that's where I think music is missing today is so many people are more worried about showing off a vocal range 
than they are putting the emotion behind the vocal. And that's something that Floor and and Toddy and, you know, even like the lead singer, um, I, I forget his name of uh, Poets of the Fall. They don't put in these over emphasized runs as much as they do making you feel. That's what Nightwish does. They just make you feel. You know, whether you're a fan of the, the music style or not, just listen. I, I wasn't. I wasn't a fan of this type of music before. And now I, I'm sitting here picturing I, I was literally got lost at the end. I was like, I think I'm going to put this in the car today on the way of taking my oldest to school. And see if it how it does in the car. Just that nice surround sound. You know, it, it, <laughs> I, I wish I could say windows down, but, you know, it, it's roughly, I, I want to say 40 degrees uh, Celsius out there. Um, man, that is such a good song. Like, I could just do video of video of just listening to that song over and over, and I'm sure I'd find something different every time. Anyway. Martin, thank you for posting the link to this one. I, I, damn. Keep the ones I haven't heard. Uh, obviously, there's some by Annette and, and Taria that I haven't heard yet. Um, it's not that I'm avoiding those because there's parts of their voices that I like. Like Annette's, like I, I, I said the other day, I liked Annette's voice in that one. Um there's just something I, I because I like all types of music. I, you know, she had a little bit of this pop rockish to her um, and just a little more of that grit and stuff that I just thoroughly enjoy. Um, but I love Floor's vocals. Floor makes me feel the other two I can sit and listen to and enjoy. But man, there's just something about Floor's vocals that that brings out that emotion. Uh, that's just being transparent. Um, God, this was a good song. Like, yeah, I could sit there and just play it over and over. Really good. Great, great, great. It's right up there with Elon for me. And that says a lot. All right, that's going to do it. I hope you all have a great, great Monday. And I'll see you on Wednesday with a new one. Please keep those, keep the, just name the songs. You can just put, you know, human nature, this song, or go back as far as you want. Um, and it can be a studio version. It does not have to be a live performance. Uh, as I said, and I think I, when I first started covering Nightwish, I even went through, I want to say it was human nature and actually, you know, did um, a, a studio section where I went through, I think it was human nature. And covered song by song. So yeah, don't be afraid to send those to me. I have no problem checking those out. Doesn't matter, live, whatever. It's all about the music. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I love and appreciate each and every freaking one of y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all know who I am and what I'm about. I'm JTMM. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm out.